have had an SAST bumper sticker on it for the whole world to see. So, oh, if it would have been good enough for Elvis, it's good enough for you. If you don't already have an SAST bumper sticker, then send a self-addressed envelope. Don't stamp it. We'll do that. Two, Short Attention Span Theater, Box 730, Madison Square Station, New York, New York, 10159. And remember, we're here every day at 7 a.m., 1 p.m., 7 p.m., and 1 a.m., and, of course, on Saturdays and on Sundays. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> Tom Servo here from MST3K. You're watching Comedy Central. Mystery Science Theater 3000, show 410, real one. In the not too distant future, next Sunday, 80, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. want to go the experiments just about to start ah uh, the experiments bite it's all so dull and so uh banal yeah joel this place is for losers and squares stick around here and you're headed for nowhere on a rocket sled baby uh, uh, no offense of course oh no oh hi everybody welcome to the satellite of love i'm joel robinson still stuck up here in space and uh, uh this is gypsy <gasps> And uh, my other two robots, Tom, Servo, and Crow, have decided to run away from home and go live on the other side of the ship. All right, uh, we're going to get going then, Joel. Uh, and please don't embarrass yourself by following us, okay? Oh, no, I won't. This go. is your deal. I can see you got everything. Uh, what, what's this right here, Tom, in your hand? Oh, I made a boomerang to hunt wild animals. Oh, smart. Uh, hmm. Oh, see you later. Okay, okay. bye. -bye. I was born They'll be back. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, uh, Magic Voice, you want to give us a status report on how they're doing? They are 50 yards away. They have stopped. They appear to be arguing. Crow is headed on his pack and is hitting Tom's circle on his shoulder. Tom is crying. They're headed back. Commercial sign now. You were right, Gypsy. Yeah. We'll be right back. Coming soon, it's the return of Comedy Central's cheap Labor Day weekend. We're jumping ship and our viewers are running the show. Watch it beginning September 5th. We'll be at the beach. Mead's five-star notebook could very well be the only notebook tough enough to take being crammed in and out of a locker before or after every single class. Every single subject, six periods a day, five days a week, four weeks a month, nine months a year, which is approximately 1,623 shoves, pushes, pulls, tugs, flips, flops, bangs, and crams per year, and still come out in one piece. Five Star from Mead, built strong to last long. No little cinnamon gum freshens breath longer than Big Red. So kiss a little longer, hug a little longer, stay close a little longer, longer with Big Red. That Big Red freshness lasts right through it. Your fresh breath goes on and on. While you chew it, say goodbye.
Introducing Color Match, the acrylic sealant that actually matches your car's original color and covers all those minor nicks and scratches with a protective shine that lasts for one full year guaranteed. Watch how it works. First, we'll damage this car's paint. Ouch, that's damaged. Now watch as we apply the Color Match system. Look how easily it goes on. And watch how those nicks and scratches disappear. Now you see them, now you don't. Even dull, faded finishes are brought back to the car's original color. Color Match really works. And don't worry, Color Match is not a paint. It's a high-tech acrylic dye blended to match your car's color, even after 50 times through the car wash. The Color Match system is yours for only $19.95. And if you order now, you'll receive a second bottle absolutely free. And there's more. We'll also give you glass shield, Duragloss, and fog shield, an extra bonus value of over $20 absolutely free. Here's how to order. Call 1-800-525-2828 or write to the address on your screen. A Kids in the Hall, Comedy Central's newest band of unruly young upstarts. If I can't keep Mr. Stevenson, I'm going to hold my breath until I turn gay. <gasps> Prepare yourself for comedy's reckless future with the Kids in the Hall. Saturdays at 11.30 here at Comedy Central. We're back. We forgive you. Now, what's for lunch? I thought you guys were going to run away and live on the other side of the Ew. ship. Oh, we did. We're, uh, we're done. Uh, it got way too built up over there. Yeah. So, what's the movie today? I don't know. Uh, Sherry Lewis and Lamb Chopper calling. Well, Joel, we're introducing a new feature here today. Here's a hint. Remember Lost Continent? Remember rock climbing? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> uh, who can ever forget rock climbing, huh, Clay? <laughs> yeah. Well, now. Now, along the same lines, we've come up with something new, something we like to call Sandstorm. Sandstorm. It's all part of a new program we like to call Deep Hurting. Deep Hurting. But that's for later. You run along and do your invention exchange, Joel. Sandstorm. <laughs> Our invention exchange is freak out. Freak out, huh? Cute. But it hardly qualifies as an invention. Oh, did I forget to mention it's all part of a kit, and with refill sets you can make Super Freak Out! <laughs> Well, we're not much for freaking out, are we, Frank? Trails. Beautiful trails. No man is outside looking in. He'll take you up, he'll take you down. Freak out and super freak out by four dead in Ohio arts. Tin soldiers, Nixon coming so tepidly. What do you think, sirs? I'm a scientist. I don't think I observe. See me. Feel me. Touch me! Oh, great. You've triggered a freak out in Frank. Anyway, rock climbing was a cool groove compared to. Sad storm! <laughs> Sad storm! That's right, Joel. What Wishbone Asher is trying to tell you is that our invention exchange this week. Deep hurting. Is so beautiful, so insidious, so. <laughs> That's right, that it's actually woven into the tapestry of today's experiment. Hercules against the moon man. And it all culminates in deep hurting. But we don't want to give too much away. You run along, Joel. Push the button, Frank. I am the button. You know, Perk is just flat against any moon man. He's going up against the Unification Church, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the moon man. Filmed against the heart muscle. Who will hold the pestos. Oh. Man, all these people are foreigners. Hey. Oh, Carlo's been stealing tone polish from Stravinsky. That was like a dog, man. NC Stu Stu Studio. NC Stu Stu Studio. Uh.
Nike, just film it. Uh, that's uh, Larry Mandela's uncle, by the way. <laughs> Luigi Mandela. Gentle Omo, I abhor you. Please, don't make this film. That fatal night, a fiery mass dropped Ooh. from the sky onto Earth. Skylab. Causing the mountain of Samar to erupt and burn everything around it. Uh. Leaving nothing but a wasteland. Really made a mess. Sad, really. Within mm. the bowels of the mountain, Ooh. a new and monstrous life was formed. Oh, gross. From that day on. The people of Samar, in order to survive, were forced to offer their children as a sacrifice to the hungry mountain of death. Hey, you got change for an eight-year-old? Okay. War comes to the land of Dairy Queen. Hi ho, hi ho, it's, it's off to death, death we go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. May I have another? Get sacrificed today. You kids, quit whining or I'll turn this thing around. Ah, uh, early Disney employees. Mm -hmm. Oh, not through the puddles. Oops. That's not nice. Not that way, R2. You'll be breaking down in no time. Jim Henson's Exodus Babies. <laughs> Hi. I am the mighty Pavan. Please enter your PIN number. <laughs> oh, they're taking the slaves for a drag. <laughs> no, we don't want to see Siegfried and Roy. No, no. Behind the green door. Ooh. Boy, those kids are really bad at tug of war. Mm -hmm. Also, and at Austria. Shouldn't they have a better loading system? I mean, it, you know. I think so. Okay, people, come on. Two, three, and step, and struggle, and step, ball, change, and struggle. Two, three, four, and death hands, people. Death hands, come on. Step, struggle, step, and change. <laughs> Go into the light. Hey, if you think this is bad, this is only purgatory. Mm. No, you know, personally, I think they're in limbo. Rush limbo? Oh, no. That would be more like hell. Come on, move ahead. You passed the second window. Come on. Uh-oh, uh -oh, Mom's here. Run. Ah. There they go. Queen Samara, your hmm? poor people can no longer endure the endless human sacrifice you have brought. Man, on. she has huge legs. You know that I'm the most faithful oh, subject, and that before you I served your late father with the same oh, devotion. Check it out, it's a life-size achievement. Listen award. to the desperate what? cries of the hmm. mothers of Samar, the screams of the innocent victims. But Queen don't Samara, listen to Neil Diamond, please. You cannot. You must not allow this wanton slaughter. Okay, well, next. Old enough to remember what happened during my father's reign. Long before hey, it's Jody from Family Affair, all grown up. I remember. Hi, <laughs> Keeper. The fate that overtook those who dared to rebel is even worse than the destiny we face. But this has changed. Changed? Yes. There exists a man, one who's so marvelous, whose courage and whose strength have allowed him to overcome any danger that threatens. And do you think you'll be able to conquer those who reign on the mountain of death? Go on, go on. Yes. If he were to lead us, your people would succeed in annihilating. Don't only destroy yourself. And me too. Samara, my queen, I beseech you. I explore you. Hmm? So don't take it away. I command you to stop. Send for this man. He lives in Charon. Send for him before it's too late. Okay, what's his number? Your people are tired. You dare to make threats. Uh-oh. Get out of for you, it'll be too late. He's a chest of drawers. Okay. Is that my puddle? Oh. Fine, jerk face. What was that? Nothing. Oh. Okay, you're shapely. Hi, I'm a chocolate bar. Break off bits of me and enjoy me all day. Wow, she looks like she was carved to go on the bow of a ship. The man from Sharon is about to arrive. They must be meeting secretly. What's his name? Hercules. Yep, that's my cue. Big Alan Steele. Splash me out in the morning. Wear the great smell of me all day long. What? He's riding on the horse's neck. It's kind of hurt. I'll be coming round the mountain when I come. I'll be coming round the mountain. It's living. 
His body makes me feel funny. In the big country, dreams stay with you. I know this next part here is a little tricky. You gotta go between some trees here. <laughs> He took the good tablecloth. Oh, who's the guy? And he's got big pecs, and they call him Herc Howell. Huh. What? I'm not to miss the exit. What? No, I don't see the highway. My backpack's filled with pecs. <laughs> You know, the best scenic overlooks are the scenic overlooks that aren't marked as scenic overlooks. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. You know, it all starts looking the same after a while. Very much. Cool. Mm. I hate Mondays. Ah. Oh, sorry, Herc, I tripped. I meant to do that. <laughs> hey, he's got his thong on upside oh, down. no. The twins. Yeah. Oh, Rob Reiner, no! There he goes. It's a scrum. Oh, he's wearing his swim trunks. Huh? Father Murphy, no! When you're a Greek, you're a Greek all the way from your last cigarette. <laughs> Jim Cut. <laughs> Ha ha! Beats Sammy Spear in his orchestra! <laughs> I enjoy being a guy! Yeah! <laughs> Clean up an aisle five! <laughs> I love that one. Now then. Well, time for my Snickers. <laughs> what took you so long? <laughs> I'm only kidding, Herc. It's not nice to fool Mother Nature. <sighs> Oh no, the smoke alarm again. Every time I eat a glazed donut in the microwave. Huh? Oh. What's oh, Hamlet's dad? Ron Phil? Oh, that's right. It's Thursday. It's a vision of a Mexican wrestler. El Santo, I'm glad you're here. The ghost of Christmas cuckoo. Hercules is alive. He escaped from the trap you set for him. He chewed his leg off. Uh -huh. But how can he avoid death at the hands of my best soldiers? Hmm? You underestimated that man. Chop Red Owl. For as long as he stays alive, he remains a threat to that destiny written on the stars. We will not be able to leave the mountain and We will not be undersold. And you will not become the most powerful woman on Earth. Mm. I promise you he will die. Hi, I'm Larry Miller, but in a way, aren't we all? And I want you to watch me on the A-list here at Comedy Central. That's the A-list, not the A-team. I hope. Watch the A-list, weeknights at 11 only at Comedy Central. Oh, yeah. Go to the rock me. Rock me all. Okay, say you're a countertop and you find yourself with this blueberry stain. Now, you know there are some kinds of powders that are harsh and can scratch. So, would you want to be cleaned by one of them? Or would you go for the soft scrub with Clorox bleach, which lifts out tough stains without harsh scratching? So, what's it going to be? A harsh powder or soft scrub with Clorox bleach? Ooh, wise choice. Soft scrub with bleach. Preferred by countertops everywhere. You can enjoy the world of beauty, excitement, and adventure. All these and more can be yours in the wonderful world of art. And with this art test from Art Instruction School, you can find out if you have the interest and desire needed to become a serious art student. So to get your free art test without cost or obligation, call this toll-free number now. Call 1-800-862-1000. That's 1-800-862-1000. It's a rock thing. It's a pop thing. Jazz thing. I just want to add one thing. To me, the best kind of music is every kind of music. Kick. The music's always hotter on Arsenio. It's a night thing. Did you know that watching tropical fish can help lower your blood pressure? 
that it's possible to stop a migraine headache just by repeating one soothing word. It's true. Your mind does have the power to heal your body. Hi, I'm Russ Wild, senior editor of Prevention Magazine Health Books. Now you can learn how to release the tremendous healing power that's locked inside you. It's all here in the complete guide to your emotions and your health. Over 650 pages of proven natural healing techniques covering everything from allergies to arthritis. Call now for the complete guide to your emotions and your health. Try it absolutely free for 21 days. Then if you choose to keep it, pay in just three easy installments of only $8.99. Plus you'll get this relaxing Stress Busters audio cassette as a free gift. Remember, you can try the complete guide to your emotions and your health free for 21 days. So call now. Call 1-800-468-5300. 1-800-468-5300. Hi, Phil Kellogg and Dave Lubrins here, enjoying the fact that Comedy Central is the only all-comedy network. And what better place to enjoy it than at the opera? What is she saying now? Well, she's saying that Comedy Central is the only all-comedy network. What's his problem? He doesn't believe her. Why is she picking up that huge axe? She's going to convince him. <laughs> Settle that. Comedy Central, the only all-comedy network. Phyllis. My love. Say. <laughs> uh, you you talk about I'm going to be able to meet openly in front of everyone. I'm going to speak to your sister. No. Not in that, you're not. Okay. Why are you so frightened? After your own, my family is the most noble in family. I've tried many times. Oh, cross your legs, please. To speak to her of my future and of our love. But I've always found Samara strangely hostile. Yeah, but what a bad... Your sister brings only sadness to everyone. That's not fair to her. Face the facts. The people are suffering. They want to free themselves from fear. They want to destroy the monsters of the mountain. And now they might be able to do it. See it, drill no. Major. Could wipe them out. But the queen is still opposed. The fight against the mysterious power of the monsters. No one has ever dared to do that. I'm frightened, Derek. I'm don't frightened, worry. Derek, too. I don't intend to lose you. I love you, and I intend to marry you. As soon as possible. After I finish school. I'll speak to Samara. Yeah. Hear me out to the end. I swear. And if she doesn't give her consent. Oh, darling. This is my little friend Gorgon. Say hello to the folks, Gorgon. Hello, folks. Are you Hercules? I could yeah. be. Who are you? What do you want? I'm to lead you to the man. She's a smurf. All right, up with you. I think I'm sitting on the saddle horn. As a boy, you weren't very convincing. I'm Agar, daughter of Claudia. What made your father send a girl to meet me? And a child at that? I've no brothers, and my father trusts on me. Stop talking so fast. For the cause of liberty and justice, I'm ready to do anything. Even to fight? That, too, if it's necessary. Would you fight Let's me? Let's go. I'll take you into Samara by a route that only I know. By the way, do you ever bathe? <laughs> Pizza, pizza. <laughs> it is bassoon. Come. Hey, this is nice. It's the queen, the tide. Uh, okay. This is wild, I swear. <laughs> Hey, how long do I have to hide back here? Oh. I saw you leaving the city at daybreak, Agar. I'm greatly honored that my queen should take the trouble to watch over me. If I do so, it's for your own good, ma'am. Uh, the moon's on a cold. And you were young. So young. You should be more prudent. Wow, smells like gold's gym in here. Which rhymes with... What was that? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Mm. Look, it's a Mike Douglas show set. Hercules, she's gone. You can come out now. I knew that. I'm writing a spec script for Aristophanes. Let me thank you, Hercules, for answering my prayer. It was my father's friendship for you that brought me here. Did anyone see you? Mm -hmm. Neither the city nor the kingdom. Go, go, but a few weeks from Samar, I was ambushed by a band of ruffians. They must have mistaken me for a rich merchant with sacks of gold. I changed their minds for them. Bandit. Haji, Johnny, race. Exchange. All the roads that lead to Samar are always carefully guarded. 
Did you get a chance to see who their leader was? Was it a guy yeah. with a big hat? He had a thick black beard, and there was a long, ugly scar running down his cheek. Ah. Ah. Cracked like celery. That's Toddy. Well, who is he? One of Mogol's soldiers. And the right arm of the queen. The queen? But is she against you? Yes. I'm afraid so. Uh, Sarah, could but you get us some coffee? The king was dying. The last thing he said to me was, <coughs> Watch over Samara. Guide her. Conquer her. At the time, I thought my task would be an easy one. Hmm, well, However, so if it... Only arrogance. Oh, well, I would... this pride. But you see, I... that woman. I tried Together to... with unrestrained ambition. But I don't I know... I tried that... to induce her to rebel against... Oh, sure, but it... ...that for years had hung but... over us. You lost me. Every third new moon, our youth is decimated by a sacrifice that's barbaric and inhuman. The next sacrifice takes place tomorrow. Hercules... Let's have cookies outside. That's why I sent you. You've always been a great fighter in the cause of justice... And you've always been the victor. Will you lead the people of Samar? No! Oh, sorry, I mean, yes, of course. That's what I'm here for, Claudius. That, and I want to get a kick-ass tan. But you won't be alone. You will have every courageous man in the city, beginning with the young prince, Derek, the cousin of the queen. I got I got I got I got Wow, she cleaned up real nice. Your daughter is as courageous as she is beautiful. Will Leona win the heart of Hercules? Let go, Daddy. That's enough. I would have chosen a more tranquil life for her. Without fear. Have no regrets, Father. Think of all the innocent lives we'll save if we win our fight. Oh, uh, yes, Hercules. But still here? leaving the palace, it wouldn't be wise for you to take the same route by which you entered. Oh, out the back door for I'll the hurricane. Huh? Through the secret tunnel. Follow me. Could you put some lotion on my back? There we go. Like it? I just had to put in. Don't know how I got along without it. Fair here is the grill in the open fireplace. Mm, I miss him. Well, I'll be back. Oh, yes, 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 Oh, what's that code again? Oh. Looks like they're on a Doctor Who set. Hmm. So it uh, just goes on and on like this, huh? My thighs are really rubbing today. Mm, I hate this mall. You can't find anything. And then I put in this shag. I got bumper pulled in the back. Of course, Vern has put up some jam jellies and compotes. And you see your pancake. <laughs> you ever get silverfish down here? We're almost there. Good. Uh, where? Mm. They should have put the restrooms closer to the dining room. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not hard to find once you know your way around, and of course there's... Oh, I forgot I put that in you. Dang, damn it. Nope. That too. Watch the fall. Oh, shoot. Nope. Oh, sorry. Darn oh, well, kids. Let's go. Oh, no, Archie just flushed. That looks like they're in a oh, starburst. It's not July yet. Ladies and gentlemen, the most mystifying and mysterious booby trap illusion. The Malaysian booby trap illusion. The most mystifying booby trap of all. The biggest booby trap ever made. That's right. It's the biggest, bouncingest booby, booby trap, trap that ever bounced okay. a booby. Booby, 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 booby. Okay. Okay. I, need, I need your attention. Mm -hmm. Two lovely assistants, please. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, try to keep it together and present this major stage illusion. Let's oh. Oh, Please forgive us. We're behaving like a couple of boobs. <laughs> oh, come on, be mature. Come on. Oh, come start. on, assist the name of a bird. Okay, okay. We will now perform the amazing illusion whose name we're not allowed to say. Okay, okay. As you can see, these are real steel walls with uh, razor sharp uh, knives set in and poised and ready to pierce Joel's tender skin. Let her rip. Uh, 
Three trapolos of amazing booby. Now we lift back the walls. Okay. Ta-da. <laughs> Pretty good. Oh. Yeah, I actually feel not too bad, but, you know, for my experience, but with those steel knives penetrating my flesh and all, you know, it could, it could be a lot worse. Joe, Joe can have you on the marker and clear for the landing on runway 32. Yeah, you know, when a person goes through an experience like that, you imagine something to go wrong. I mean, you know, I'm only human, but with those knives coming in and all, not really even hurting me in the least, you'd think something would go wrong, but it didn't. It's funny, really. Gears locked, locked and Joe should be touching down, down in just a moment. Are you sure about that, Joel? Is there anything you need? No, hmm? really. I mean, I went through the experience with the knives and all, and, you know, maybe a glass of water. Oh. Joe, Joe is now landing. landing. By all means. <laughs> <laughs> and Joe can land. Please remain seated with your seat in the upright position until the seat belt light is turned off. This has been the satellite of love and invited you to laugh at least one today. It's fine. We'll be back after this word from Woody's Headache Caller. Oh, I gotta take a leak! <laughs> <laughs> Deep hurting! Deep hurting! You should watch for comics only. It's a it's a comedy show. No, actually, it's a it's a breath mint. I'm not really quite sure what it is, but you can see me on it, and uh, it's great because that means I won't be in your home physically. Watch comics only weekdays at 12:30 p.m. here at Comedy Central. They say this detergent with bleach built in gets clothes really clean, but I wondered how it compared to my Clorox bleach. So, I got two stained shirts, and I washed this one in detergent with bleach built in, and this one in Clorox bleach and my regular detergent. And look, the shirt washed in Clorox bleach is cleaner. I think I'll stay with Clorox bleach. Clorox liquid bleach. Still no better way to get clothes clean. If you would take a star and put it next to a house, if you could, a star would be... Like 20 feet bigger than the house. When it's nighttime in our world, it's day in their world. By the providing 70% of all television designed for children, your local cable company is making sure there's more to kids' TV than Saturday morning. If there's no gravity right now, you can jump all the way over those trees. All of them. Wow. People in Pueblo, Colorado can't say why they do things better than most. Of course, it's got nothing to do with Pueblo being the home of the Consumer Information Catalog. No, it's got nothing to do with that catalog's list of almost 200 government booklets on topics like education, health, and federal benefits. So could doing things this well have anything to do with the free catalog and sample booklet you get by sending to Catalog Pueblo, Colorado, 81009? Yeah. Do you want to make more money? Sure, we all do. So call this free number to find out how easy it is to train at home for a better career. At ICS, more than 10 million men and women have prepared for new careers without setting foot inside a classroom. And now at home in your spare time, you can get your diploma or your degree. Choose from any one of these courses. High school, TV, VCR repair, child daycare, computer programming, electrician, veterinary assistant, medical dental office, bookkeeping, legal assistant, interior decorating, drafting, hotel restaurant management, learning the personal computer, or get your degree. You can major in business management or accounting. Make this important call right now. Call now for the free information Sally Struthers spoke about. Then decide if you want to train at home for a better job or career to make more money. Call 1-800-431-7700. There's no obligation and no salesman will visit you. Call 1-800-431-7700. Call now. Hey, how you doing? I'm Wally Collins. Now, what's the deal with that show, Evening at the Improv? Can anyone please explain this to me? I mean, they have like two, maybe three comedians. No one's ever heard of them. What's up with that? Why not watch Stand Up Stand Up where you get like 15 of the best comedians doing the funniest stuff? I mean, watch Stand Up the way you're supposed to on a comedy network. Watch Stand Up Stand Up today at 4 here at Comedy Central. Okay, I get that hand off things more. <laughs> Trog with Joan Crawford. Nice. There she is. 
Irish Spring, manly as, but demigods love it too. Huh? Hey, fur kills, I guess. <laughs> Dino, no! <laughs> Oh, Hercules, he likes you. Who's oh, a good monkey monster? Who's oh, a good monster? Oh, oh, it's Robert Bly. Uh -huh. Big tooth. Oh, yeah. Get your paws off me, you damn dirty ape! Or whatever you are. Young monster, you're going to the orthodontist whether you like it or not. Trumpy, you're angry. Oh, brother, this guy smells worse than I do. <laughs> Take it back. Take it back. Ow. Oh, now what? Look at this. Ah, it's not one thing. Will Hercules that. be able to bend the bars? Will the Adrian consciousness tune in again next week? You know, if he wasn't so into that frontal shop, he probably could slip through sideways. Yeah, just right. Turn. Uh, must be those new hardened steel bars. You know, I think this exercise is working. I can feel it here and here. Well, he's strong, bar none. Get it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Boy, it's a lot easier this way. Super Bob Vila. <laughs> Whoa, it's my manager. Better hide. Yeah. Sounds kind of like Eraserhead. Man-made chickens, but they're new. I want to go to Snow Days. Just wondering. Oh. No, it's not like he was your dad, or anything. Oops. Oh, awkward. I couldn't do anything to save him. I'll never forgive myself for it. You think it's easy to find skin bronzer in here? We were being spied on by Queen Samar. Mm. I ran after you to warn you. Ooh. We were trying. I, I think you got a deer tick there. I Wait, only got time to get the last words. No, Dad, the kebab. He ordered me to lead you to the rendezvous where he'd intended to take you. You must join the others so that they'll know you're still alive and won't abandon us. You know better than that. I could never abandon Laka. Thank you. No, thank your you. Your shoulders rest the future of the people of Samar. I know. I have great admiration for you. I will show you a way out of the palace that will lead us into open country beyond city walls. Hmm. We must be very careful not to be seen. As soon as night falls, we can come back to the city. He looks like a loaf of split-top bread, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, uh, can I tell my story now? Uh, uh, I was in a big wet hole and uh, I battled a... a... Uh, that's okay, Herc. Just traveling along, singing a song side by side. Come on, sing. Oops. Looks like he's in deep 13. It's a heart video. Well, around about this time, the old skunk had gotten into the pepper pot. Uh, don't light the ladder on fire, uh, Conrad Janice. <laughs> Yeah, well, boys. We're made of clay. The monster's been killed and the iron bars are torn apart. But there isn't any trace of Hercules. But no one has ever gotten out of these caverns alive. That man is superhuman. With such strength, we'll never overpower him. I quit. We will. But it's necessary to get him alone. With none of his friends around. What friends? I know who they are. Billy Possum. Tomorrow I'll arrange to send away Prince Derek. Sweat. Quite a spark between those two. Do you have two. men you can trust to follow orders implicitly? Yes. Fine. Can I borrow a couple? Where? What does it matter? Only one thing, honey. Ow! The essential thing is to keep him from coming back. And as for Hercules, I want him taken alive. He'll pay dearly for all the trouble he's caused me. Good night, Tom. The queen wouldn't deny his sister anything. I know. And I'm here to ask her for the greatest favor of my life. Everyone at court knows the only favor that will satisfy the princess Billy. Guys, I am so homesick right now. Uh -huh. What is or what? I must talk to you, Samara. Get out. Okay, I'll come back later. Hey, it's a Flintstone phone. I want you to promise that you'll hear me out. I'll hear you out that door is what I'll do. Haven't I always done so? Marlo Thomas is that queen. Don't you really believe I'm fond of you? Well, don't say that, Samara. Even if we didn't have the same mother... You've always been a perfect sister to me. Hmm. And I'm grateful. Hmm. I wanted to be perfectly clear. 
that my attitude is dictated solely by my affection for you. Of course. And because of that affection, you could make me the happiest woman in the world. Samara, Prince Alex loves me. And if you'll only give your consent, we'll be married immediately. It's like those movies equipped with airbags. We love each other. You can't refuse. Of course not. How <laughs> could I refuse you? No, 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 in no, fact, no. I want you to marry. But not as soon as you would like. Oh, Samara. Why are you making us wait? It's been my intention for a long time now to send Prince Darius to the court of Karim to conduct secret negotiations. Oh, back in the frame, on please. On a matter of the greatest delicacy. Toilet paper. But he'll be back soon. And you'll live happily ever after. The oh, end. Thank you. Thank you, dear sister. Um, leave he'll the ring, please. the first thing tomorrow morning. So he'll be away from you. It won't be for very long. Don't see now with an evil queen. queen. I'm I'm so happy. Happy. Not for long. <laughs> Claudius is dead. Hercules has disappeared. And I'm out of here. The only hope we had. There's nothing left to do. You can talk that way because you don't have children. But if you had a daughter like my child, you'd understand the anguish that a mother feels when the moon is full and you know they're coming to take her away to the second. It's Lee Merriweather. My wife is right. Mickey, we can't bear living this way. That's right. You're the only one who's been to the top of the mountain of death. Tell them what happened to you there. Speak out. Tell us whether ordinary men can overcome the monsters. I saw the mountain open up miraculously, and I was bathed in a blinding green light. It was then great. Then huge, deformed, rock-like creatures appeared. And at the same time, I was deafened by a weird sound that seemed to come from the depths of the earth. After that, I don't remember anything. I was so terrified, I was gone from my senses. I came to after a while, and I found I was alone. Your experience only confirms the fact that it will not be easy for us to win. I think it's useless. Harvey Corman! Yay! Only Hercules can fight the monsters with any chance of surviving. All I can say is this. Roddy McDonald! I swear to you that I'm not influenced by any personal ambition. The only thing I want is to liberate Sama from the nightmare that's oppressing her. And to direct. Then my wife and I will go away. Asking nothing, expecting nothing. Lee Major! Oh, my, name the world. my name is Timor. And it's on the list of those who have been selected as victims for the sacrifice. Yeah, boo. But I prefer to die in combat with the monsters. If my death will help to liberate Sarah. Robert Stanley. Quiet. Don't let them hear you. Uh, Ixnay. Oh, we were doing nothing. It's Clavius. He started it all. Paul Sorvino. Wow. Woo-hoo. 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 Merlo Thomas, ladies and gentlemen. Merlo Thomas. Hercules. 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 To send the sacrificial victims to the monsters in the mountain. I think it would go something like this. Coming soon, it's the return of Comedy Central's cheap Labor Day weekend. We're jumping ship and our viewers are running the show. Watch it beginning September 5th. We'll be at the beach. Bow, do do, bow, bow, do do, bow, do do, bow. The new Trapper XL. It's a binder, plain and simple. And simple. From me. The legendary Ginsu Knife. It was the sharpest offer on television. But now, there's the next generation. Ginsu World Class. It's quite simply the finest knife in the world. You mean finer than our famous English knives? Finer than our German knives? 
Yes, even finer than our own classic Ginsu. The high carbon stainless steel blade has incredible strength. Even with abuse like this, it still never needs sharpening. Nothing cuts it like the Ginsu World Class. It's as simple as that. With its unique triple ground curved blade, you could easily pay $100. But not here. Ginsu World Class is yours for only $29.95. Complete with this money back guarantee and this lifetime replacement guarantee. Sharp offer, sharp value. Order now and get these famous Ginsu steak knives plus these accessory knives free. Ginsu World Class, a legendary cut above the rest. What's yours now? For rush delivery, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-257-4949 or send $29.95 plus $4.95 shipping to Ginsu World Class, P.O. Box 8989-A, Buffalo Grove, Illinois, 60089. Order now. Call 1-800-257-4949. The toll-free number displaying now on your screen should be used to respond to the following. This is an important message for U.S. veterans. Whether you serve during peacetime or war, call now for free information about veterans term life insurance. That's just one dollar a week. Benefits are guaranteed never to go down and are paid from day one. Only veterans, spouses, and widows ages 30 to 69 qualify for this dollar a week offer. Don't wait. Call now for free information from Veterans Life Insurance Company. Here he's only two years old and he's already a clown. And this one, he's six months. He had a terrible rash. Ma! Do the face. I'm, not, I'm the, not gonna. No. It is so funny. One eyelid comes completely down and the other one stays up. Do it. I'm not gonna do that face in front of people, no. We got every comedian and their mother here at Comedy Central. The only all comedy network. Freddie, get down from there. You'll hurt yourself. I never thought the time would come when I would greet you with such joy and in the same breath have to say goodbye. Watch, and you'll see that my horse will fly on the wind like Pegasus. Take care of yourself and come back soon. When can I hope to see you again? In a few days. Soon? Have you spoken of us to Queen Samara? Yes. When she was giving me the instructions for the mission I'm to carry out for in Coram, she made several references to our marriage plan. Stay just your endless. But the way your sister spoke, it seems she has no objection. And sending me off as her ambassador. With such good faith. Well, now you're the most important relative of the Queen. Oh, <laughs> <You're right. laughs> you really think so? It's late, and I must go. Kiss her. Kiss her. Kiss her. Come, Come on. on. Kiss her. Why don't you kiss her instead of talking her to death? Could you have a platonic relationship with Plato? Plato? Hmm. Uh, she's all gassed up, sir. I vacuumed the inside, too. Oh! oh. I'm regular saddles with blankets thrown over them. Oh. Have fun storming the castle. Is it true that Derek has been sent away on orders from the Queen? Yes. Slumber party. I might have known she do something like that. What are you trying to say? He's I don't toast. wish to alarm you, Billy. But I think it's necessary you be told. The Queen's aware that Derek is taking part in the conspiracy. But you think he's in danger? Yes, I think he's walking into a trap. Oh, Aga. Don't give up hope, Mrs. Come with me. I know a man who's powerful enough to help us both. And I'm sure he won't refuse you. He's really reasonable and won't charge for the extras. Oh, explain cartoon tag over there. They're devolving. Ooh. Isn't he worried dirt's going to stick to all that oil he's got on? Along that road, they take the victims to the sacrifice. Beyond those woods and the river is the mountain of death. Let's buy a I'm pass so we can go on all the rides. Hercules! Oh, I thought you were out of town this weekend. But Zeus is on line three. You want I to take him? the tavern, you'd be here. The Princess Billis needs your help. At your service. The Queen has sent Daryks away on a mission to Cora. It's only a pretext. She found out that Daryks is one of the conspirators. Seymour, get my horse, fast. Get my fast. Daryks is already on the road to Cora. Yes. He left about an hour ago. Well, oh, hi. You had better go back to the palace business. And don't be afraid. Okay. Even if it costs me my life, Derek's will be saved. Hercules. Oh, please don't go to any trouble for us. I give him three months. Her would help us move. Even if it costs my life. I trust you to get them safely back to the city. Even if it costs you my life. Oh, never mind. Yeah, now Herc will go to a bar for a few hours and say he couldn't find him. <laughs> she was calling wildfire. 
Absolutely sure that he was attacked on orders from the Queen? Yes, I am. Mm. They were her soldiers. What is it that's turned her against even her most faithful subjects? I think she's been reading the op ed. And explain why she's so anxious to get me. The Queen didn't even know me. She didn't know I was coming here. But then she saw your press she back, her. She murdered on the highway. And then she nearly caught me. We put Crisco on the moon. Yes. How could she always guess where I'd be? The people say. She has powers that are supernatural. Hmm. She possesses a magic powder which causes any man who takes it to look at her through the eyes of love. They say she's never hmm. without it. She carries it in a gold locket around her neck. Hmm. Well, that's useful to know when I eventually come face to face hmm. with Queen Samara. Ha And watch me on the A-list here at Comedy Central. It's the best stand-up comedy. It's new. It's quilted. Watch the A-list weeknights at 11 only 
at Comedy Central. A free back-to-back -back home run offer from the Sporting News. Home run number one. A free home run video. The power, the glory, Major League Baseball and the Sporting News have created a new video. The 50 greatest home runs in baseball history. And it's absolutely free with your paid subscription. The myth makers, the record breakers, they're all here. And they're all yours when you subscribe to the Sporting News. But only if you call this number for this amazing TV offer. Home run number two. Four free issues of the Sporting News. You'll get four free issues of great baseball, football, basketball, and hockey coverage. If you like it, you'll get 27 more issues at this great TV price. If not, just write cancel on the bill and owe nothing. The four issues are yours to keep. Remember, you'll get the 50 greatest home runs video and four issues of the sporting news absolutely free. So call this number now and get your free back-to-back -back home runs. You got kids? You got germs. Hold it. You definitely need Liquid Dial. It has a unique antibacterial formula other liquid soaps don't. So why not wash with a soap that's made to kill germs? Liquid Dial. Kill the germs. Keep the kids. Have you thought about long distance lately? Are you getting the service you expected? AT&T has more people to help you than anyone else. Call 1-800-528-6555 and come back to AT&T for free. Whatever happened to those big savings? What does big mean anyway? Are there people your savings plan doesn't even cover? The AT&T Any Hour Saver Plan is easy. It could save you money on AT&T calls to anyone, anywhere, anytime. Did you know that with some companies you get two phone bills each month? Is life too short for that? With AT&T you get one simple bill a month, not two. Competitive prices and service that's personal. Call 1-800-528-6555 and we'll switch you back for free. AT&T. You couldn't pick a better time to come back. This week on Alan King, Inside the Comedy Mind, Alan talks with comedian Elaine Boozler. You were a waitress? I was the most fired waitress in New York City. My picture's up in the post office like this and like this with a tray. <laughs> Catch Elaine Boozler on Alan King, Inside the Comedy Mind. Today at 4.30, only at Comedy Central. Mm. Okay, you're all done. Now listen, don't take any food or water for the next three hours, all okay. right? Wow, Rico is suave over there. Why, thank you, my good fellow. I say, you're looking rather Jean-Claude Van Damme yourself. Yeah, you really think so? You know, inside every servo is an Alan Steele waiting to get out. Okay, okay, Joe, ask me which way to the beach. Oh, just <laughs> hold it a second, my beefy bots. You need one more accessory to really augment your ensemble. Huh? Huh? What? Say what? Yeah, huh? you need a new name that's as big and broad is your new upper body implant. All right. Well, what good is a tough guy without a tough guy name? Yeah, exactly. You know, the general rule of thumb is that you take a, uh, have a real virile first name like Alan and then uh, a second name that sounds like some kind of hard surface like Steel, Alan Steel. You get oh, it? Oh, I get it. Uh, okay. My new name is Drake Tungsten. Good. And you have to call me that too. Okay, okay. okay. I dub me Russ Tile Floor. <laughs> well, uh, you you know, I don't know if that really works, because that makes your middle name Tile, and you'd have to put in quotation marks or parentheses or something. Oh. Yeah, and then that would make your last name Floor, which really is not. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, how about this? Rick, R-I-C, Drywall. Rick Drywall. Yeah. Well, Drywall really isn't that, uh, I mean, it, it's not like, you know, concrete or uh, something. Yeah, so right. Uh, Drake. Uh, Drake's okay, right. Okay, fine, fine. Uh, hey, Tom, how about... Uh, Adam Plexiglass. Yeah, or uh, Vic Kevlar. Nick Pigard. Well, just forget it, okay? Jim J. Bullock. Now, that's not uh, funny. Just drop the whole thing. Just drop it now, okay? Well, listen, maybe you could be one of those tough guys without a tough guy name, like Sylvester Stallone or something. Oh, don't patronize me, Joel. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, uh, Tom, I hate to tell you, but you're, you just rejected your donor limbs. I know that. Don't you think I know that? I'm living it. I know it. I'm here. I'm living it. <laughs> hey, hey, Servo, I, I just thought of a good name for you. Really? What? 
Danny? No arm. Let me out. 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 Freddie Fireplugs. Shut up, Joe. <laughs> Tommy Torso. Thank you, my arm's back, Joe. Frickly, they're here. You in there. Can you hear me? Open up, I'll head. move the dead guy. You get the door. Open. Sesame. My daughter. Your daughter what? Stay calm. Go on, go on. Baco? Who is it? I'm doing the dishes. Cheezer, no cheezer. Who is this? We're here to take your daughter. Where is she? Oh. No! Oh, no, I think she's over there somewhere. No, no, no. All right, help yourself. Okay, but you have to have her home by 11. Let go of that girl! You can't take her! Watch me rock. No, no, no. Oh, good thing they made everything in a balsa with that then, huh? Oh, right in the store. Oh, owie. Hmm. That's a barrel of hun. Barrel of hun. Gilligan, no! Gilligan, yes. Behold the only thing greater than yourself! Now there's two guys in there. I keep up! <laughs> oh, batter up. Jim Cotton. Fox Martin. <laughs> Oh, it's me. Nice. Oh, flamer. Do 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 bottom. I love my job. <laughs> pizza, pizza, this. Hercules. Here. There's no time to be wasted. They'll be returning with reinforcements. We must find a safe place for Derek's. I know a place where he can hide. That one was just for me. Someday that's gonna be a mall. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice. Hercules. Oh, that's me. Uh, here, hold this guy, will you? I'll be right back. Listen, I know I said I'd call, but I was attacked by guards, and then oh. Phyllis has been taken. I saw her in chains with the other prisoners. Go on ahead. They're on the march. Yes. But don't go now. You can't do anything alone. I beg you, wait for the others. No, that might be too late. What would become of me if anything should happen to you? Don't worry. There are other demigods out there. Hello, Levine. Hi, Cheryl. Looks like they bagged their limit today, huh? You know, I guess what they say about lemmings isn't true. Really forced fussing. Chain, 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 chain of food. <laughs> you know, it's never as fun as it looks in the brochures. <laughs> I hate these cattle calls. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like somebody got beer on the film. Oh. So I said, why don't you try pushing the rope? Okay, I'll be the slave. I'm sorry. Isn't this a drag, folks? <laughs> mm, a little fun there for the team game. Hey, I'm not enjoying this. It's my job. Try again. Try Star Pictures. There. Good one. Okay, sit. Stay. Oh, such a good boy. Oh, such a good boy. Oh, yes. Ooh. I could have gone my whole life without seeing that. Little genie. I don't want to dance with somebody. You've been resisting for 300 miles. Now, come on! Uh, we're planning to move the sacrifice area closer to the city. Those torrents are rather harsh, aren't they? 
We're in a, starting to feel like Bob Mantel. Boing, 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 boing. Mm, man, I'm stuck jelly tight in this thing. Here they come. Surprise! Happy birthday. Dragging them along, eh? Jeez, these guys are getting harder to pull. The bad news is the chief wants the water so oh. Oh. Oh, 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 that hurt. Come here. Leave them alone, you big bullies. Come, Princess. But you're not Dennis. Well, you're not Steve Reeves. Oh, no, it's a giant Joe Namath Ned and Slingshot Reeves. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait, he, he can bend steel, but he can't break through a net? We've got you at last. Ah, uh, Hercules. Next week on Hercules versus the Moon Men. Please do not touch the exhibit. It's Kim Cattrall. Oh, no. where? There is nothing wrong with your television set. Mm -hmm. hmm. And there's Marsha Brady. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm next to the mud bath. You see? Oh, not this guy again. I was having a moment. You're absolutely identical. That is why I ordered you to bring the princess. Looks like the great root bear, doesn't it? Our queen Sirena will awaken from her long sleep and will live again through the blood of Billy. Ew! Ew. I killed my own sister. You brought me here to kill me. How could you be such a monster? Oh, come on. We've never been that close. But it isn't true. Samara! Look into your heart! Samara! Samara! I love you, Samara! <laughs> no! Hey, Hakiba! Hmm. Oh! No! The Monsters of Rock Tour! Ah! Wanna get stoned? <laughs> Everybody must get stoned. <laughs> it's the Inhumanoids. Sorry I had to see that there. The sacrifice will take place tomorrow night. Be Bring a dish to pass. When the planet Saturn comes into conjunction with Mars, and under the evil influence of Uranus... Oh, he means Tuesday. ...then will occur unimaginable disasters. The oceans will rise, Ooh. the mountains crumble, and inexorably our moon will draw near the Earth. Oh, they would have done that anyway. Yeah. Through this cataclysm, only our form of life can survive. Oh. After the long night of sleep, I can see his lips move. Yeah. we shall become the masters of the Earth. Does that make me Mrs. Master of the Earth? But how shall I move then? Yeah, uh, I'll check the manual. You will have the reward you have earned. It's a new car! Your beauty will never fade, and your power will be equal to ours. You will possess all the riches of the world. Mm, cool. But remember that there is still one task you must carry out. Kill Hercules. Oh. Have no fear. Underdog is, is here. In my hands. He will die. Coming soon, it's the return of Comedy Central's cheap Labor Day weekend. We're jumping ship and our viewers are running the show. Watch it, beginning September 5th. We'll be at the beach. This one's from Kansas, where we met that nice couple from Sri Lanka. This is from Ohio, where we learned to dance the Kamada. This one's from Mississippi, where Gigi Galubin's mother lives. Right now, only at Burger King, when you buy a delicious flame-broiled Whopper, medium fries, and a medium Coke Classic, we'll give you this unique textured Coca-Cola glass absolutely free. Ella, show them the one from New York. Oh, no, the sophisticated one. Free Coca-Cola glass with a Whopper, fries, and a Coke Classic. It's a rock thing. It's a pop thing. Jazz thing. I love it. It's a country thing. It's a hip-hop, bebop, shooby doo thing. It's a power groove. Jamming. Contemporary. Blues kind of thing. I just want to add one thing. To me, the best kind of music is every kind of music. Kick it. The music's always hotter on Arsenio. It's a night thing. 
Jack Singer has just lost $65,000. Would you like a fruit plate? Jack doesn't have $65,000. Do you have a solution? I don't. I want your girlfriend for the weekend. I am so nauseous. This is the story of one bride. Two grooms and 34 flying Elvises. You're skydiving? Honeymoon in Vegas. Rated PG-13. Sneak preview tonight at a theater near you. No little cinnamon gum freshens breath longer than Big Red. So kiss a little longer, hug a little longer, stay close a little longer, longer with Big Red. That Big Red freshness lasts right through it. Your fresh breath goes on and on. Walk it, chew it, say goodbye a little longer. Make it last a little longer. Give your breath more lasting freshness. If you like Rice Krispies, try triples. We think you'll do a... Triple take. Triples has tasty Rice Krisps, hearty Wheat Crisps, and sunny Corn Crisps. All together for a taste so good, so surprising, it'll turn your head. Yeah. Triples could have you doing a... Kids in the Hall, Comedy Central's newest band of unruly young upstarts. I drink a little. Yeah! yeah. I've smoked pot. All right! Yeah. I've tried heroin. <laughs> Prepare yourself for comedy's reckless future with the Kids in the Hall. Saturdays at 11.30 here at Comedy Central. Hmm. Hi. Hmm. I do this all the time. It doesn't hurt at all. Hi, Hercules. Aren't you going to wave to me? Oh, huh. oh. Don't wave. Good thing they left space for his hands. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there you go. That's the way. It's in the face. Uh, it, it's still fun. I'm still smiling. <laughs> you see? Dang me, dang me, I'm going to take a rope and hang me. Come on, sing. Break time. Gregory Pecks. Ooh. Oh, so the spikes are going to stab him if he lets go. I just got it. Oh, oh nipple cam. Mm -hmm. Bonnie Raitt. She's a survivor, you know. So he's really strong. Mm -hmm. huh. A piercing problem. Will Hercules escape? Tune in next week. Same her time. Same her channel. Uh, could somebody scratch my nose? The trailers for sale or rent. rent. Uh, Rooms to let. Uh, uh, uh. Bet those things are hard to clean. Well, actually, no, they fold down. They're the nice to use brush. Well, you know, the machine doesn't see Hercules the way you or I do. The machine sees Hercules as a series of ones and zeros. I, I, I was wondering. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, it's getting close. Woo. It's indicating his pecs. Bronzer. Check it out. Mm. Yes. Yes. Please. Please, God, I'm, if you get me out of this, I promise I'll do anything you want, I promise. Uh, uh, Timey kangaroo. You know, if you squint real hard, it looks like he's being stuck with several Transamerica boulders. Headache. Tension. I'm sending you good vibes, Herc. I am. Hey, I'm gaining on him. Huh. Whee! Whee! Stop! In the name of love. So, lunch? Conduct him to my quarters. Oh, look, a smoky joke. Oh. 
Very oh. funny, guys. All of you go. But why are you laying like that? Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Huh. Cheap cuffs. Here, let me just bear. A hundred lances pointed at your heart. Just one little gesture from me, and you would have been lying at my feet. Mm. It is. Well, I could still lie at your feet if you want me to. But I prefer the challenge you offer alive. <laughs> I'm Hans Christian Anderson. But it's worth the risk. Why, all you'd have to do is reach out a hand. I'm just kidding. And break my neck the way you break the stem of a flower. You are one spooky chick. Why don't you do it? You have nothing to fear from me. But fear itself. Now that I've seen you, I can no longer rebel against you. Sir? I want to stay with you. It's Hercules who asked this. No slave is as faithful as I would be. It's Daddy. Come on, me, Herc. Huh. Let me close the trace there. And stereo. I am always getting into these situations. Call it Life of Riley. Come, Hercules. Come and drink to our friendship. Hmm, now you would assume that I would think that the poison was in this cup. We'll toast our union, the strongest horse in the world. I want the Garfield Cup. You don't cup. know what the future has in store for us. But you'll never be sorry that you've taken your place at my side. Hmm, his lips are strong too. Um. My queen! Get out! I'm sorry, Majesty, but it's urgent. Wait outside. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Right are we going to find her irresistible now? Uh, hmm. <sighs> oh, Herc's been working with Uta Hagen, I guess. Uh, good, Herc. Good. Mm. Herc, very sleepy. Must get shut eye. I'm so sleepy, I can barely keep awake. Hmm, now I think I'll dress him up a bit. Hmm. Well, uh, who's next on my list? Garrix is alive. And well, and living in Paris. He was rescued by Hercules, who fell upon us and massacred the entire escort. Where's Derek now? I don't know, my queen. I was badly wounded, but I managed to drag myself here. To tell her you failed in your mission? Execute him. No! Ooh, no! Hard. No! Garrix free means trouble for us. We must capture him. That's not difficult. All we have to do is follow Agar. And follow our bliss. Mm. Oh, yes, the buffet. You thought you could trick Samara, but I'm too clever. When at last you wake up, you'll be my most faithful slave. You know, all these movies revolve around Herc sleeping. Mm -hmm. It's because he can remember how to do it. Why is he laying on a big cupcake wrapper? He's cream filled. Oh. Herc, you scamp. Oh. You know, I've been to paradise, but I've never been to me. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice no. digs. Fluff these up, sit back. Yep. <sighs> Just wait for the chicks to roll in. Life of Riley. <laughs> yep, Life of Riley. Mm. It's good. Hi, I'm Margaret Smith. If you don't watch for me here on the A-list at Comedy Central, you're an A-1. Wait, can I name call on the air? Watch the A-list. Weeknights at 11 only at Comedy Central. How many this time? Eight cavities! Fourteen cavities? I didn't think I had that many teeth. You're gonna have to drill. My parents will be very upset. Parents today hope their kids won't have to go through what they went through. Luckily, today's kids use the toothpaste more dentists recommend. Crest. Crest fluoride formula strengthens tooth enamel, helping to protect against cavities. Another great checkup. Yes! Woo, woo, woo. Later, dude. <laughs> Crest, the dentist choice, is the easy choice. Be fun! From Vidal Sassoon, Ultra Care.
The benefits of a shampoo, conditioner and finishing rinse in one. The finishing rinse helps seal and protect hair from styling stress. Brilliant! Bassoon Care for salon quality hair. Okay, say you're a countertop and you find yourself with this blueberry stain. Now, you know there are some kinds of powders that are harsh and can scratch. So, would you want to be cleaned by one of them? Or would you go for the soft scrub with Clorox bleach, which lifts out tough stains without harsh scratching? So, what's it going to be? A harsh powder or soft scrub with Clorox bleach? <laughs> Ooh, wise choice. Soft scrub with bleach. Yes. Preferred by countertops everywhere. AT&T is constantly searching for new ways to help our customers save money on long distance. And what we've recently discovered is remarkably simple. Those AT&T customers who spend over $11 a month on long distance could start saving right away by signing up for one of the Reach Out America plans. If you spend over $11 a month on AT&T long distance, you could save too. Just call 1-800-332-2550. You'll learn how you could save 24 hours a day. 25% on AT&T calls made after 5 p.m. And on some plans, enjoy a daytime discount, too. They were pretty good customers. Who are you talking to? If you spend over $11 a month on long distance, call AT&T. You could save 25% on evening calls. Honey, that sounded pretty good. Why don't we sign up? We just did. Great. Who do we call? Call 1-800-332-2550 and sign up for a Reach Out America plan. You know, people accuse me of being weird and ghoulish because I write horror stories, but hey, I didn't invent death. Back in the Middle Ages, people used to stick red-hot pokers up your nose while wild dogs chewed off your limbs, they dropped anvils on your chest, and that was if they liked you. We're all going to die, baby. I'm just trying to make it a little more interesting. You dared to conspire against me. You've helped our enemies, and you've fallen in love with Hercules. Good job, McCloud. I have to punish you with death for this, but too much blood has already been shed. And now that Hercules is in my power, you no longer represent any danger to us. Go, 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 go. Get out. Go, go, go. I banish you from Samar. Go. Leave my kingdom forever. You're fired. Clean out your dress. No way to banish her. <laughs> You're great. It's the shiny little oh. tiny with the fringe on the top. <laughs> Stress. No, you mustn't. Your wound hasn't healed. Where would you go? The minute you go outside, they'll capture you. <laughs> Timor, you've already taken great risks. And I'm very grateful. Iron my pants, will you? But I cannot wait any longer. Oh, please, here, put your top on. You'll feel better. Lilith has completely disappeared. Hercules is in the dungeons, and there's no news from Agar. There, doesn't that make and it nice? she's night? also in the hands of the queen. Well, who hasn't been Luna in the hands be of the night. queen? And I must talk to our friend. Now, call uh, See how weak you are. I'll go myself. Just tell me what to say. Kimo, it's Aga. Open up. Ah, the lousy Jehovah's Witnesses. Here, wait a minute. I'll get rid of them. Oh, uh, uh, hi, look. We just sat down to breakfast. Oh. Aga, we thought you were dead. Yes, but I was sending to Expo. We must try to save Hercules. And Phyllis? She wasn't among the other victims. Where is she? I don't know. Hercules was trying to find her. Oh. Oh. Nelson, LAPD. Hello? Oh. Oh. This is 926 Maple? Oh, geez, I got the wrong address, sorry. Meanwhile, in Hef's Grotto. Come here, young children, and bring me your wine. Poor wine. Old bitter dregs. Send them away. Now bring them back. <laughs> I love it when you do that. All right. Is that a polar bear rug? Oh, uh, no, like it's his horse. Because I wanted to be alone with you. Because I want to know what makes you, Queen Samara, tick. <laughs> Hey, it tastes like Steve Reed's. Mm -hmm. Samara, you told me many marvelous things. You told me a fabricated story that wouldn't convince a child. You said that at your side, 
I would become the most powerful man in the world. Yes. Nice pose. You never explained how these things would Hey, Herc, nice. James Brolin wants his beard back. After tonight, you'll know the answer. I don't understand how in the space of a few hours, you can change our destiny. What can happen of such great importance? You must have faith in me. Tonight you'll be at my side and you'll know. You'll be able to see with your own eyes that I've told you the truth. I saw it with my own eyes. What a dumb expression. The important thing now is that you tell me you love me. On our first date? Ouch. I love you, Samara. And you never loved anyone else as much? No. Well, I had a dog once, but... Do you think I wear too much makeup? J.P. Morgan Gonder. Oh. My blankie. You know them? Yes. They were the ones that tried to set me against you. And she? Wasn't she your friend? Friend? She's just the girl who took me in, like the others. How can you betray her? I told you that you were completely in my power, didn't I? And I also ordered you to get out of my kingdom. And Isaac Hayes wants his vest back. What sentence shall I decree for him? Hmm, something crunchy. The death penalty. All around, on the house. A slow death. Hmm. Let them die of starvation. Give them plenty of time to regret having taken up arms against you. Me. This isn't you. It's not possible. He's right. Take them away and see that the orders are carried out. Right, two slow deaths coming up. Hey, Bob, we need two slow deaths. Wreck them. I go to the... Listen to me. I understand your doubts because I share them. Did you think I was naturally a warlike spirit? Well, yes. I'm only a tavern keeper. But also I know that this is the moment for us to stand up like men or we'll never know what it is to be free men again. Uh, and just what do you expect us to do? Uh, they know who we are and soon they'll be coming here to arrest us. Timor has been killed. Derex is in the hands of the Queen, and we don't even know whether Hercules is alive. Hercules isn't a man to let himself be put out of the way that easily. I agree with Tertius. I have a son. I, I don't know whether he's dead right. or alive. But that doesn't change anything. Let me in, I say. Orders are orders. Oh, God, where are you can let him in, Raynon. Chong, an officer of the Royal Guards. Can we get some service here? Rubio, what are you doing here? I know just what you and your companions are plotting to do, and it would have been very easy for me to have taken you by surprise and have you put to death. It's Chandelorian! Yeah. join you. The army is with me. We must fight together against no, no, Mogul no, 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 and the no, no, no. household no, no, no. guard. Are you serious? You who have sworn a military oath? Uh. No man of honor can be tied by an oath that requires that he cover himself with shame. Certainly not. What's no, more, no, no. my soldiers are men of the people like you. Yeah, well, men of the people. They also yeah, have women yeah, and children to defend. Right. He's right. Come on, man. Yeah. Burn the palace. Right. Killing's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Come here, Hercules. Look at that. A ceiling fan? Oh, come on, let's love. It's from the moon that my power will come. From the moon? What do you mean? Now that I'm really sure of this, I'm able to tell you. You're greasy. For many years, my ancestors were sorcerers to the monsters of the mountain. But I've gone even further. I'm their ally. Jeez, and I made love to you. you. Allied with them? Yes. Ooh. They are powerful, Hercules. But despite their power, without me, they're helpless. What help could you give? Except to deliver the health plan, the usual. I gave them billets. Yikes! I can this just imagine what you've given me. Her sacrifice will revive Selena. Their queen. Where is Billis? In the mountain of death. Perfect. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to find out. What are you saying? You thought you had me under your spell, but your magic filter didn't work on me. I knew what I was doing all the time. And now I must liberate Derek's and Agar. Yes. Oh, she got one of those, huh? I hate that. Ah, crap. I sang like a bird. Grab the gust to her life. Hurts way. Now, back to what I love. This is what I was built for, not figuring out secret passages. A good old-fashioned violence. Yep. <laughs> back in town. Me next, me next. Twirl me, twirl pizza, me. Pizza, my ass.
Yes. <laughs> You've been gone. Oh, no. <laughs> now, this, this is something I'm good at. Let's face it, it is my strong suit. Hey, I'm no road scholar, but I have a real knack for this sort of thing. I'm glad I chose kicking butt as a career. <laughs> now, back to some fun, huh? Come on, join me. Yeah, there we go. Let's dance. <laughs> He's doing the haymaker! Do. Yeah, hey. Well, I guess you won't be needing that. <laughs> Going into the dungeon! Hmm? <laughs> Sorry, you can't get in without a backstage pass. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, do you have a bobby pin? I can't go. Uh... Wilma! I knew you were a traitor. Let's roll. Set. <laughs> Hurry. You mustn't get out of the palace alive. Kill him. Joe, I hate movies where the men wear shorter skirts than the women. Boy, don't you know it? I can just imagine a common scene from the days of ancient Greece. Oh, hi, Hercules. Have a seat. No! You are so right, little Lizzy, buddy. Hey, Kamba, cue up the music. That's why we put together a little musical presentation honoring one of our favorite garments. It's a little thing we like to call pants. 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 Sing the praises of pants. Nothing better shows my taste than what I wear below my waist. Say, hey, pants. <laughs> pants. Sing the praises of pants. They help me suck in my gut. They always cover up my butt. Oh, pants. Pants. Sing the praises of pants. Wear them and you're a cool guy as long as you zip up your fly. Say, pants. Pants. Sing the praises of pants. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Consider the pants. You know, the Pant Association urges you to wear your pants at least three times a day. The great men of our time have all worn pants. Roosevelt, Churchill, De Gaulle, Gandhi. Well, well almost all of them. <laughs> Dolphins, one of the smartest mammals on Earth. Do they wear pants? No, but they wish they did. That's how smart they are. What keeps our legs all warm and hot? Pants. What prevents a buffalo shot? Pants. pants. What have they got that I ain't got? Pants. pants. Oh, you can say that again, then. Huh? Pants. Pants. Deep hurting. Deep hurting. Go ahead and sing, Panty Waist. In a moment, you're going to be knee deep in sand. And then it'll be Joel Robinson, R.I.P. Pants. <laughs> Hi, pig. I'm Judy, the petite flower. I hate talk shows. That's why I love comics only, because it makes me want to release my eggs. Watch comics only weekdays at 12.30 p.m. here at Comedy Central. This one's from Kansas, where we met that nice couple from Sri Lanka. This is from Ohio, where we learned to dance with Lamada. This one's from Mississippi, where Gigi Galubin's mother lives. Right now, only at Burger King, when you buy a delicious flame-broiled Whopper, medium fries, and a medium Coke Classic, we'll give you this unique textured Coca-Cola glass absolutely free. Ella, show them the one from New York. Oh, no, the sophisticated one. Free Coca-Cola glass with a Whopper, fries, and a Coke Classic. From Vidal Sassoon, Ultra Care. The benefits of a shampoo, conditioner, and finishing rinse in one. The finishing rinse helps seal and protect hair from styling stress. Brilliant. Sassoon Care for salon quality hair. Ooh, great backpack. Looks like the new Five Star First Gear. She's checking me out big time. The notebooks are great, too. I think she's in love. That binder could really get me together. She's mesmerized by my bulging biceps. And nylon is so strong. She thinks I'm a god among men. Ooh, he's got the new first gear. I'll have to fight him off with a stick. 
Five Star First Gear from Mead. A whole new way to carry yourself. Twice the power. That makes a big difference. Professional plumbers on professional strength liquid plumber. All the other liquid drain opener is the loot. This stuff doesn't. It's more powerful. So twice as much power attacks the hair clog and bam. Goodbye, clog. <laughs> Get twice the power to the clog. Once in your lifetime comes the magic of truly great music. by millions around the world. These are the greatest romantic melodies of our time. Forty of today's most memorable and relaxing hits. Piano by Candlelight. On three cassettes for only $19.99 or two compact discs for just $24.99. To order Piano by Candlelight, use your credit card and call 1-800-453-2600 or send $19.99 for three cassettes or $24.99 for two compact discs plus $4 shipping and handling to Piano by Candlelight, P.O. Box 11066, Department 50, Chicago, Illinois, 60611. This week on Alan King, Inside the Comedy Mind, Alan talks with comedian Elaine Boozler. You were a waitress? I was the most fired waitress in New York City. My picture's up in the post office like this and like this with a tray. <laughs> Elaine Boozler on Alan King Inside the Comedy Mind. Today at 4.30, only at Comedy Central. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, hold it. You're, you're locking it from your side. Wait, I'll open it in a minute. Gee, call him Stanley, the garage door opener. <laughs> oh. I'm a little fire, Scarecrow. <laughs> Oh, uh, come on, you're only making it worse for yourself. I'm Hercules! Howie. Oh. My name is Amigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. You die, Joe. Ha <laughs> oh. oh, dude, that was really dumb. What was I thinking? Good one, Herculoser. Hey. This is wild. I've never killed a guy like this before. It's neat. Oh, they won an encore. Oh, it's the open auditions for Torch Song Trilogy. Is already on the way. Let's go. Well, guys, you know, this movie's uh, pretty bad, but it's nothing we can't handle. Yeah, I don't know what that whole deep hurting stuff was about. Well, it's... Let's just rip like normal. Nothing to worry about. I'll need. Okay. What was that? That's good. It, it was after the apocalypse. They had to get to the power station. They weren't prepared for the robot holocaust. Oh, <laughs> How about the Americas? Two desert planets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're doing it. Okay. Oh boy, she could really use a dust buster. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And it looks like uh, downtown St. Paul after 5 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> oh, she's wearing hair epoxy because it's wind tunnel tested. <laughs> Everyone knows, knows it's, it's windy. windy. <laughs> well, this is kind of like seeing bad performance art. Oh, like seeing performance art, in other words. Ooh, yeah. Ouch. steam. Hmm. Oh, so what's the Pope doing here? Oh. Red Rover, Red Rover, let Moonman come over. Red save me. In a moment, Hercules will be here. You betrayed us. You be 40. You be Blake. It's clobbering no. time. No! No, don't kill me. I didn't betray you. I'm the one who's betrayed. No! No! We will, we will no. rock no. you. Help! Save me! No! No! It's Stonehenge on ice. Oh, help! Save me! But don't stop them! No! Oh, no, no not the Rock'em Sock'em no. robots! They're gonna knock my block off! No. How humiliating. She's being killed by a patio. Oh. Well, those things are great because you can hold them right off. 
Oh, no. Oh, no. Joel, I'm getting nervous about this sandstorm thing. Don't worry, little buddy. Just keep the quips coming. We'll be okay. Okay. Oh, this is like a bad Antonioni movie. Like an Antonioni movie, in other words. But oh. who? <laughs> Boy, jeez, I wish I had my shirt on now. My nips are burning. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Oh, pardon me. Selena. Selena. Come on, get up. We're going to Grandma's now. Your hour has come. I've got to go lend my outfit to Aman or David Bowie. Ooh, he's cutting her with a pizza knife. Oh, pizza, pizza. Alvin. Chicago style. Ouch. Yeah, I hate that part of my job. What? Oh, cripes. I should really get that leak fixed up there. Well, the chibi pop's done. And I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Drop by drop, this blood will bring you back to life. Ugh. My queen. Oh, she's packing Excelsior. Sandstorm, guys. Sandstorm. Yeah. Sandstorm. Couldn't just one person have gone and reported back? This is what they get for going to Kansas during tornado season, huh? Come on, right. And do the locomotion with me! But the Berenstain Bears could find nowhere to picnic, so... Quick, before the film starts again! Boom! I tell you, when hurt breaks wind, everybody oh. suffers. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. We should have checked the weather channel. Well, this is really killing time. I could figure we can do three or four more minutes. What do you think, huh? Maybe. Uh, I'm an axe-wielding maniac. And he's dancing like he never danced before. Hey, moon over Parador there. So this is Chicago, huh? Oh, oh, shoot. I lost my contact. Everybody, stop where you are. Don't stop. Uh, somebody's having their blood pressure checked. <laughs> it's icky. Louise Brooks. Hmm. Lana Lovitz. I think there's a short in the fan. Welcome to the crypt. I've got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> Shut up. Kind of like a freaked out view master. Nice. We now return to Endless Summer. I think I'll let break this for the heck of it. There we go. It's mad. Oh, I, I lost my retainer. No, oh, this is like an outward bound weekend gone horribly wrong. Mm -hmm. Well, this is what they get for trying a shortcut. Oh, these are the outtakes from here to eternity, I think. No, Joel, this is just eternity. You're right. It's like true grit. Ooh. Boy, imagine what, what it would be like if something were happening. Look, all the hair's been blasted off Hurt's chest there. Mm -hmm. What do you know? Okay, that's enough. We've had it with the sandstorm sequence. Easy, Joel. Now, for crying, they're up around the same set again. <sighs> well, you know, the man said this was going to be bad, and you know what? Hmm. They're right! They're right! right. right. They're right. right. They're right. right. Come on, guys! Let's do this battle! Come on, fuck up. Hey, none of us can go on any further! We'll meet you there. We'll get a table. We'll order you a sandwich. 
witch. Please, let this be. Please, oh, please, oh, please. Okay, oh, please, please, oh, please, 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 please,
itching. Try Cruex. <laughs> Ooh, Dolly painting. Well, I could watch that all day. Well, here comes someone who can help you. <laughs> Why is he wearing oven mitts? <laughs> On the dull side of the moon. <laughs> plop, plop, fizz, fizz. <laughs> Mr. Yuck is green. I'd say a little more blush and a little less bronzer for her. Mm. Kind of a fall look. Meanwhile, two hours later. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Picnic off, don't you? This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Uh, well, as a matter of fact, <laughs> let's go <laughs> surfing now. Everybody's learning this. Yeah, I was looking for the ultimate wave and I found it on Death Mountain. Perfect <laughs> wave. <laughs> Steaming mad at this movie. Yes. Yeah. The weather started getting rough. The tiny <laughs> ship was. <laughs> oh. I used to do in a sandstorm anymore. Oh, I've, I've seen dogs do that on the driveway. Oh, I, oh. Hmm? oh I should have brought my totes. Oh my goodness, it's the great urinal cake! Mine. Dianetics by L. Ron Hubbard. Why do I hurt inside? Page 54. When will this stupid movie end? Page 38. How much money can we get out of Tom Cruise? Page 25. Ah. Ah. you'd come crawling back to the Herc. <laughs> the world is having a Maalox moment. I guess so. Mm. Well, I gotta hand it to those mad scientists. This was one of the worst sequences and one of the worst movies we've ever seen. <sighs> well. Just set myself anywhere. Hmm. Oh, you know, this is like the scene in Dune, you know, when the Imperial yeah. Sotra comes crashing down and Paul and Jessica are stranded, and yeah. Jessica says, you ain't, you ain't, and they're not enough for you ain't, yeah. and then they gotta get the drum sand and the side of the thumper and the jump to the room to... Yeah, never mind. It's a woman in the dunes. It's right. a cowgirl in the sand. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna make a castle, that's what I'll do. Oh, brother, really long, pointless scene back there. Whoa, staggering. Yeah, yeah, finally. All right. Get a piece of this rock. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sticks and stones. <laughs> right in the stones. I like that. <laughs> kind of like he's trapped in a giant foosball table, isn't it? Gumby, no! Yeah. Ha. How about a martini and Rossi on the rocks? <laughs> I'm funny. <laughs> really cute, huh? Yeah. Here we come. Walking right down, down the street. The street. Yeah. Huh? Is that his butt? Oh. <laughs> huh? Look. Me. Hey, I'm thinking. I'm actually thinking. Well. Oh. Hey, 
Hey, she's lying in Gaines' Sorry. order. Hmm. Kill him. In that order? Uh, you guys are rock stupid. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let him pick you up over his head. Oh, it all looks so good. I don't know where to start. Uh, you got him. Uh, don't make me laugh, Woodsy. I'll get out of here. My name is Hercules, and I'm a rockaholic. Hi, Herc. Crunchy. There we go. Help me, Great Root Bear. It's like they're being attacked by Mont Saint Michel. Mm -hmm. uh, could you hold hold up a minute, guys? I'll be with you in a second. I'm still awake. I, yeah, I am too. What you thinking about? Hey, that's obscene. Oh, oh why? Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, Stonehenge. This film has aged me. I know how she feels. Mm -hmm. It sure isn't you. Backdraft. Epilogue. Hmm. Springtime in Washington, D.C. means cherry blossoms. Oh, I'm glad that's over. Do you really have to leave us, Hercules? Mm -hmm. Yes, Prince. I may be needed in some other part of the world. You know how you feel, Herc and all. Hope that Agar can persuade you to stay. Can I persuade Agar to share the risks I will surely encounter? Touche. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm. For the rest of my life. But they're not married. Oh. <sighs> Gee, her dress is filthy. Mm. Gonna get uncomfortable up there. Hercules will be back in Herc Goes Bananas. Oh, I hope not. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. Joel, it bothers me when they switch actors on us. Yeah. Hercules Unchained had Steve Reeves, and now Hercules Against the Moon Man has Alan Steele. What happened? I know, you have to kind of squint and tilt your head a little to make Alan Steele look like Steve Reeves. Steve's <laughs> more shiny. Right, that's yeah. exactly right. Well, actually, it happens quite often. You know, the uh, movie industry is so bloated and sluggish, it takes years for a, a sequel to even a popular movie to get made. Ouch. Yeah, and uh, what happened was Steve Reeves did so well in her Hercules Unchained, he probably came back to the studio asking for a lot more money. They couldn't meet his price. Enter oh. Alan Steele. Oh. Yeah, we call that the Wayne Rogers Syndrome. The Wayne, Wayne Rogers Syndrome? Oh. Yeah, exactly. It's an old adage in Hollywood. When you're doing a remake of a movie for television and you can't get the film actor to do it, you call Wayne Rogers. Oh, you mean like when he replaced Elliot Gould for the TV version of MASH? Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Or when he replaced Donna Reed in the TV version of It's a Wonderful Life. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, huh? Uh, it's complicated when you're older. Oh. Uh, don't forget him trying to erase the memory of Walter Matthau in the TV remake of House Calls. Oh, yeah. oh and then he grew up and became Pernell Roberts. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Gypsy, did you realize that Walter Pigeon was the original Admiral Nelson in the film version of Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea? No way! Not Richard Basehart. No! Yeah. No! Bro, you are so cruel. So, letters? <sighs> Terrible, huh? All right, all right. Listen, this one is from Leslie, and oh. it doesn't really have a return address, but it's a real nice picture of uh, oh. uh, me and... Oh, yeah. oh, oh, not really very good. Oh. Come on, you're coming with what? me. Come on! Ah. Ooh. Oh, so, uh, I'll just read this other letter here, okay? Oh, oh hi. Cam, but put that up on still store, would you? Yeah, well, sorry about this. Do you know I can't hold up the picture? Can't really hold up anything. <laughs> Arms don't work, you see. They just kind of hang there. <laughs> Sad, really. So, <laughs> this is from Mike Liggett of Beaverton, Oregon, and it says, 
I have reason to believe that you are not really in space broadcasting, but really broadcasting from Minnesota or somewhere in the U.S. Hmm. And your robots are nothing but puppets. Huh. Real nice. <laughs> Takes all kinds to make a world, huh? I'm Tom Servo reporting. Maria! <laughs> oh, I didn't know he could bend that far. <laughs> what do you think, sirs? I don't understand it, Frank. This movie should have broken their will. It should have reduced Joel's brain case to a peapot. Encouraged the bots to rip their own heads off. And yet they thrive on it. They're growing larger, more confident. You know, sometimes I wish I was one of those little guys up there. Quipping away, gadding about. Hmm. I wonder how you go to the bathroom up in space. Frank... Hand me my microphone. Deep hurting! Poopy! Deep hurting! No! You're watching Comedy Central. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. we kick off our tribute to Elvis, the king of comedy, it's a 12-hour marathon of comedy with Elvis jokes, impersonations, and sketches on Saturday Night Live, SCTV, London Underground, and lots of other great comedy programs. If Elvis knew you were watching, he'd buy you a Cadillac. In the meantime, stick at Comedy Central for Saturday Night Live with Ron Howard and the band with a perpetual sneer, The Clash, yes. Coming up next.